everyone. I'm here with Matt Jordan. We're going to quickly cover some key injuries to affect week 10. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you ready to talk some football? Sure am. <laughs> okay. Do you think the Eagles can still win the NFC East without a quarterback, Nick Foles? I do. Um, I think Chip Kelly is, is the kind of coach where he's going to make any quarterback good. Um, he certainly did it at Oregon. Um, you know, none of his guys became really good pros, but they were super, super college players. And I think he can do the same with Mark Sanchez. Mm -hmm. um, Sanchez played really well in the preseason and uh, pretty well Sunday against Houston. Um, he's got a lot more talent around him than he ever had with the Jets, and he led them to two AFC title games. Um, I actually don't think they're going to miss Foles that much. He's actually kind of struggled this year after being really awesome last year, mm -hmm. throwing a lot of interceptions. Um, I think the interesting thing will be if, um, let's say, Foles is healthy. You know, it's Philadelphia's first playoff game, but he hasn't played since, you know, last week. And what does Kelly do? Does he dare put him in there after two months of rust, or you stick with Sanchez? My guess would be he sticks with Sanchez. So, yes, I do think they should still be favored to win the division. I think they will. Okay. And how about Dallas? Is it time to panic for Cowboys fans with two straight losses and Tony Romo's injury? I don't think so. Um, I think their offense will be fine. Their defense has had a couple injuries. Um, their schedule gets quite a bit easier now. Um, this week, they opened at uh, minus five in London against Jacksonville. Um, they wouldn't bring Roma on that trip with his, you know, his fractures in his back unless he was probably going to play. You don't want a guy with back problems, obviously, sitting on a plane for eight hours, you know, and then right. all that other stuff. So, But they did bring him, so they must think he's going to play. They could probably beat Jacksonville without him. And then, um, so I think yes, and I think, you know, then he can still take a bye week and um, after this trip, so he'll get that week to rest. That's why I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they do rest him. So that that line could definitely, um, definitely, definitely change a lot. They'll certainly drop if um, Romo doesn't play, but all signs point to him possibly playing. I, I do think they have a still get a chance at a wild card, but like I said, I think the Eagles are the better bet for the uh, NFC East. Okay, and what about other key injuries should betters um, monitor for week 10? Yeah, there wasn't a lot of really, really, really big ones um, last week other than other than Foles and, you know, Romo not playing. Um, Phil Rivers got a little bit hurt, but they're off this week, so he'll be fine. Um, they're struggling. Mm -hmm. um, probably the big thing in the Dallas-Miami game is um, um, the Lions' two best, you know, probably offensive players, uh, Calvin Johnson and Reggie Bush. Um, they both haven't played in a handful of weeks. They're both going to play. They've both been practicing. Um, that's an interesting game because the Lions have been playing well, and the Dolphins have been going crazy. And then uh, the Bengals might, might be down three stars in the quick turnaround game Thursday against Cleveland. Um, running back Gio Bernard almost surely will not play. He set out last week. And then offensive tackle Andrew Smith and cornerback Leon Hall are out. I don't think that'll matter. I think the Bengals will be able to handle Cleveland at home. Okay, Matt, we really appreciate your feedback. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. For SBR Picks, this is Nadia Holtz. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.